I'm currently driving to a new spot to film. I normally film the parking garage at this hotel, but it looks like everyone and their grandmother wants to hang out in the parking garage today. So I'm gonna go to a different spot. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video, I have my mom's 2017 BMW 740i, and I'm gonna do a 40,000 mile owner review. And yes, it was owned by my mom, but it was in the family. So I know everything that went on with it and I actually drove it quite a bit. I'm gonna break this video down into a couple segments. The first one I'm gonna go over is the wear and tear on both the interior and exterior and how the tires have held up, the MPGs that we've been getting, how good it is on gas. So starting off with the wear and tear, we do have a few rock chips on the front bumper as to be expected with a 40,000 mile car. And there is a little chip in the windshield. And when we get to the maintenance cost, I'll show you how much that BMW quoted us to cost that. I'll give you a hint. That's how much it cost. And here's the tires. They wore out pretty quickly. The front isn't as bad as the back, but um, these tires have 40,000 miles. They're Bridgestone Potenza run flats. And uh, they did wear out fairly quickly, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we will be needing to get new tires pretty soon. But other than the tires, the crack in the windshield, and a couple of rock chips, the exterior has held up really well. No signs of sun fading. So let's get to the inside here. All right, looking at the, of course, planes. Literally, there's planes up the Ford lot that I film videos at, and there's planes here. Look, seems like there's planes everywhere. All right, now that the plane has gone away, now we got birds. Okay, so for the interior, it's held up really nicely. Um, the armrest and up here shows no signs of wear. The seat held up pretty nicely. Just a few little creases and stuff as to be expected with leather, but seats have held up really, really nice. Center console held up perfectly. This is all wrapped in leather, which is nice. Everything's good here. The steering wheel held up nicely. So no complaints from the interior at all. So the interior is held up really good. All right, next I wanna talk about reliability and the maintenance cost. So BMW covers all the maintenance costs for three years and 36,000 miles. And when we got this car, we were under the impression that it was four years, 50,000 miles, like it was in years prior. But apparently 2017, which is the model year of this car, was the first year that they did a three year 36,000 instead of four year 50. So that kind of ticked us off and I'll show you guys why. See that price? We went in for an oil change, air filter change, and cabin air filter change. Those three things costed 557. That's literally all they did was ch change a couple of filters and uh, the oil change. That's literally it. So my tip of advice, if you know how to do it yourself, please do your own maintenance. Do not spend this amount of money to just do a couple filters and stuff. I'll pop up a picture on the different pages of this so you guys can see what exactly they changed. But other than that, literally the car has had no problems at all. No warranty work, nothing. All right, stepping inside here. I wanna show you guys the MPG that my mom has been getting. So this car is rated from the factory at 21 city, 29 highway, and 24 combined. And my mom's been getting with her driving 23.8. Um, usually when I fill it up with gas, I do the calculations manually and it comes out to around 26 MPG. So I feel like that's a little bit low, but um, this car gets really good gas mileage considering. It's 4,300 pounds. It has 320 horsepower and uh, gets really good fuel economy. And when you're on the highway, you can get up to 30 MPGs. If you're getting that MPG, you can go over 600 miles on a tank because the tank is like 22 gallons. So it's a really, really good fuel efficient car, really efficient with the ZF8 speed and the B58 inline six, really efficient powertrain. So definitely no complaints on MPG at all. And just so you guys know, it's 39,396, but it's pretty much 40,000. It was a nice day today. My mom's car is all cleaned up, so I wanted to do it today. Last thing I'm gonna talk about how the car has been for us to own, how we've liked it, what my mom says she likes about it. And there's one tiny thing that she dislikes about it.
but it's been an excellent car for us. It's extremely comfortable. Um, it has air suspension. So when you're in comfort mode on the highway, it literally feels like a cloud. And look at all this nice, nice leather, sun shades, ambient lighting. I will be doing a lighting video at night showing off the lighting because it looks really cool. Uh, my mom's really loved it. And like I said, we've had no reliability issues at all with it so far. So fingers crossed it stays that way. This thing's really fancy inside. I really like this. You even got a little heads up display. If you guys want to see a full review on this car like I do on the Ford cars at the car dealership I work at, let me know. I'd be glad to do one. I'm going to turn on to this street right here and do a little baby acceleration. Put it in sport mode. Because after all, it is a Supra engine, right? It's a B58, so let's see what we got here. So yeah, it gets up to speed really quickly. I'll honestly say that this car feels like it has about 360 horsepower, not 320 like they claim. And if you look at the car and driver, when they test this car, the performance figures show that it has to have more than 320 horsepower. It definitely does not feel like 320. And I just want you guys to see how smooth this transmission is. The ZF80 speed is the best torque converter automatic out there, hands down. Just watch how smooth it is. You can't, I don't know you guys can't feel it, but literally the shifts are just so seamless. Can't even feel it moving. I'll be doing a 30,000 mile review on my dad's 2019 Ram 1500, showing how that's been for the past 30,000 miles. And my dad also has a 2015 Ford Edge Sport with coming up on uh, 150,000 miles. So once that reaches 150, I'll do a video on that and how that's been for the past uh, five years and 150,000 miles. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video showing off my mom's BMW 740i. So if you guys like these kind of videos, if you wanna see something else on my mom's car, let me know in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.